The crowd goes wild. <laughs> oh, I pushed it. Second in the FedEx Cup standings, entering the BMW Championship, defending champion Dustin Johnson begins his week on Chicago's north side at Wrigley Field with Cubs Hall of Famer Ernie Banks. It's in the left field. It's really cool to come out here and, and be at Wrigley Field and, you know, not hitting baseballs, but hitting golf balls, which not, not many people can say they hit a golf ball in Wrigley Field. But Johnson soon finds himself on the south side of the leaderboard at Cog Hill as a five-over opening round drops him out of contention early. The midway proves less monstrous for FedEx Cup points leader Webb Simpson, who opens with a six under 65. It was a good start. You know, we got three under through four there pretty quick, and then four under through six, and um, you know, it's always a good start when you're playing a course this tough. At two under is Deutsche Bank Championship runner-up Ches Reeve, who's making his first appearance at the BMW Championship since 2008 the last time he qualified for the playoffs. I got off to a tough start, but hung in there, made a few putts, and managed to get it back under par for the day. You have to play well out here. You can't sneak it around and kind of get away with one. I have to have a great weekend to sneak in the top five. Revy begins the week ninth in the FedEx Cup standings, his playoff run serving as the exclamation point in his comeback from an injury-shortened 2010 season. I tore my meniscus in January of the Bob Hope last year and didn't realize it and kept icing it, thinking it would get better, and I had to get it fixed. I didn't have a choice. I decided to have knee surgery and then figured out how all the medical stuff worked and found out I qualified for major medical. When Revy returned in January, he had just 12 events to earn the almost $673,000 needed to keep his card. I was so tight every day to where I would make one bad swing, I would have one little lip out, and you would have thought the world was coming to an end. I was living and dying by every shot and every putt. And you just can't do that out there. It was counterproductive. I wasn't playing the way I knew I could. I made enough points after the memorial to finish in the top 150, which gave me some temporary status out here. I was lucky, actually, because everything just kind of fell right into place where I could keep playing and keep improving and be ready for the playoffs. 87th after the Barclays, Revy needed a big week at the Deutsche Bank Championship just to advance to Chicago. In Boston, I, I played steady every day. I shot a couple under every day the first few days and played well. He's got a chance with this one too. Oh, Chez Revy, to 16 under par. Once I played my way up there and experienced it a little bit, I, I realized that, that I can play up there. And so I was really relishing the moment in Boston. You know, I got a little choked up for a minute just because I'd come so far so quickly. Uh, starting the year on a medical, not knowing what's going to, going to happen. Uh, to be able to go to the Tour Championship is, is a goal. It's what I wanted to do. I'm playing the way I want to play, the way I always believed I could play. It turns out to be kind of a Cinderella story this year just because I was hurt and I was playing poor. You know, I've climbed the ladder really quickly this year and, and I've played great and I'm looking forward to more years like this for sure. A second round 70 gets Reeve to three under. Eight shots behind co-leader and Chicago area resident Mark Wilson. I want to win golf tournaments. I know that's the, the feeling that we all enjoy when you're holding that trophy up and everyone's taking your picture Sunday afternoon. So I, I want that and every good finish helps obviously my FedEx Cup standing. Tied with Wilson atop the leaderboard is England's Justin Rose, 34th in the FedEx Cup standings. He follows up an opening round 63 with a 68 to hold the 36-hole lead for the ninth time in his career. I came in with a mindset I've got nothing to lose. I guess sometimes that's a pretty good attitude to have. You know, you're a little bit calm, a little bit freer. You're not sort of defensive out there on the golf course. So it certainly played out for me today. The challenge now will be to keep that mindset the rest of the week. Obviously, I've still got a chance to win the whole FedEx Cup. So that dream is still alive. But at the same time, who knows what can happen? You just want to have your head down and play shot for shot. While Rose is in good position to advance to Atlanta, other players outside the top 30 find themselves in more precarious situations, including defending FedEx Cup champion Jim Furyk. There's a lot of golf left and, and I have to play well tomorrow, so that, that's the main focus. If I knew I had to finish 18th to advance, it's the wrong process to think about going out there and trying to finish 18th. You know, the idea is, you know, we, we tee it up every week and you, you try to play the best with what you've got. 